Hello and welcome. Today we're embarking on a journey to explore the differences between two major holy scriptures, the Bible and the Quran. These sacred texts hold immense significance in their respective faiths, Christianity and Islam. The Bible, a collection of books spanning centuries, and the Quran, revered as the literal word of God, offer profound insights into their respective religions and their followers' beliefs. Now, let's dive into the depths of these holy books. The Bible, a sacred text in Christianity, is a compilation of books written over centuries, containing the Old and New Testaments. It's a treasure trove of divine inspiration, spiritual nourishment, moral instruction, and historical accounts, penned by multiple authors over a span of several centuries. On the other hand, we have the Quran, the holy book of Islam. This is believed to be the literal word of God, as revealed to the prophet Muhammad by the angel Gabriel. The Quran is an unbroken stream of divine communication, delivered over a period of 23 years. It stays consistent in its message, with its single narrator being God, and the conduit of this divine revelation being one prophet Muhammad. So, we see two distinct paths of divine revelation. The Bible, a collection of books from multiple authors, each contributing to the overall message, and the Quran, a single book with a single divine narrator delivered through one prophet. Unlike the Bible which is a collection from multiple authors, the Quran has a single narrator in God, and was delivered through one prophet. Islamic scholars point out several contradictions in the Bible that do not align with Quranic teachings. One of the most significant differences lies in the understanding of God's nature. While Christianity, particularly in many interpretations of the New Testament, suggests a Trinitarian view of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Islam vehemently asserts the absolute oneness of God, known as Tawhid. This monotheistic principle is a cornerstone of Islamic belief, highlighting a key contradiction between the two scriptures. Another contradiction identified by Islamic scholars is the concept of original sin. In Christian theology, it's believed that sin entered the world through Adam and Eve's disobedience in the Garden of Eden, tainting all of humanity. However, the Quran offers a different perspective. It teaches that each person is responsible for their own actions, stating, no bearer of burdens shall bear the burden of another. Hence, Adam's descendants aren't held accountable for his sin, contradicting the biblical notion of inherited sin. This principle underscores the Quran's emphasis on individual moral responsibility. Islam honors many prophets including figures shared with Judaism and Christianity. These men, chosen by God, served as messengers to deliver divine teachings to humanity. Adam, for instance, is revered as the first prophet and the first human being, created without the notion of original sin. Next, we have Noah, celebrated for his unwavering faith during the Great Flood. Abraham, another significant figure, is honored as a patriarch who established the foundations of the Kaaba in Mecca. Moving forward, Moses, known for his leadership and fortitude, is celebrated for receiving the Torah. Jesus, recognized in Islam as a prophet and not the Son of God, was sent to guide the children of Israel with his wisdom. Each prophet played a pivotal role, but it is Muhammad who stands as the seal of the prophets. He is regarded as the final prophet in Islam, who was chosen to deliver the Quran, correct distortions, and restore the faith of previous prophets. Understanding these religious texts and figures from different viewpoints allows for greater respect and dialogue between faiths. As we navigate through our interconnected world it's crucial to embrace this understanding, fostering a sense of shared humanity. By exploring the diverse perspectives of the Bible and the Quran, we can deepen our respect for these profound traditions. Remember every faith has its own unique stories and insights that enrich our collective wisdom. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.